Hi, I'm Dr. Struby. I'm a chiropractic physician in Pinellas Park, Florida. Today we are going to be demonstrating what is involved in getting an adjustment or some manipulation on a young lady who has some chronic problems. And I will explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and you can watch the procedure and see how it goes. Good morning. Good morning. And this young lady has had several automobile accidents over the course of time. So she has unfortunately developed some chronic problems in her neck and upper back, as well as her low back. And we are going to address those today. Is anything in particular bothering you today? Well, my neck is always really, really tight and hurt, and I have a headache. Okay. Anything else giving you trouble? Um, well, today it's mostly my neck. Okay. Low back is doing fine? Yeah, I mean, it, it's bugging me, but it's not as bad as my neck. Okay, so they're both giving you some trouble, but the neck is more so. Okay, I'm going to do a little checking, okay? And what I'm going to do now is some palpating, where essentially I just come in and I try and determine what specific areas are most involved. And I can do that by feeling for muscle spasm, feeling for lack of movement in some of these joints, real tender there? Yeah. Okay. And you want to check the tone of the muscles in the surrounding areas because that will also give a pretty good indication as to function of the spinal joints. When people have problems, pain in their neck, pain in their low back, it's because the joints in those areas are not functioning properly. And by that I mean they don't have the smooth, smooth, normal glide that they should. And that creates extra friction, which in turn creates irritation and inflammation and causes areas to hurt and become uncomfortable, causes the muscles in the surrounding areas to tighten up to try and protect the areas that are irritated. Now, what I'd like to do is a little gentle stretching first, and that's going to help to loosen things up, primarily in the low back and mid back area. So what we're going to do is have you lay face down for a moment. This particular piece of equipment has a built-in feature that allows it to do some gentle stretching. And that stretching is created by the back of the table dipping down a little bit. The weight of the patient's lower extremity creates a gentle stretch in through this area. This is comfortable. If it's not comfortable, we don't want to do it. But by doing that gentle stretch, it's helping to loosen up the muscles in through these areas, which in turn will make the patient feel better. It'll also facilitate the process of doing some adjusting or manipulation. Traditionally, chiropractors have maintained that when they do an adjustment, they are putting a bone back into place. And that's a nice explanation because you get a visual idea of what's going on. But in reality, the system is a little more sophisticated than that. And more accurately, when an adjustment is performed, what we are attempting to do is to restore normal function to the area. Because if things are working the way they're designed to work, everything else kind of follows suit. Inflammation decreases, muscle spasm decreases, patient feels better, functions better. While this is going, and I'm going to speed that up just a tiny bit there, I'm going to put a little manual pressure on the back here, and that helps to accentuate the stretch. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. And now we are localizing the stretch more to the area below the palm of my hand there. And that is where things are tight, where she's having some trouble. Now in this mid thoracic area, the area of the spine in through here, there's also a fair amount of tightness. There are many different ways of doing adjusting. The most common form of adjusting is manual adjusting where the chiropractor would take his hands, give a push, you'd hear and feel a click. That is a very effective way of going about things. There's another form of adjusting using a small instrument. That small instrument is a mechanical instrument. It delivers a very focused, very high velocity thrust. I'm going to use this small instrument to adjust that area. 
and what the patient will perceive are just some small thumps in through here. What I do is I feel for the areas that are tightest, where there is dysfunction in the joints, and by using the small instrument and addressing those areas, it helps to loosen things up, get things to function the way they're designed to function. You nice and comfortable with that? I have been accused of trying to staple people back together. And because this young lady unfortunately has had several auto accidents over the course of time, she has developed some chronic problems in neck and upper back and low back. When an injury takes place, tissue is damaged, and as the tissue heals, oftentimes it will form scar tissue or fibrous adhesions. That interferes with the proper function of joints, which sets the stage for chronic problems. And very frequently, people who have been involved in accidents years ago end up with arthritic degenerative changes that they wouldn't have otherwise. Um, all these are good reasons to see someone if you have been injured and get yourself evaluated even if you're not having terrible problems just to make sure that you don't run into problems down the road that you shouldn't have had otherwise but after the injury you're now more susceptible to. I'm going to go ahead and stop this now and I'm going to come around to the other side And what I'd like you to do is turn over on your side so that you're facing towards me. I'm going to lift that up a little bit, give you something to rest your head on. Now, I am going to get this leg and pull it way up like so. We're going to tuck the shoulder around a little bit. I'm going to swing the table in. And we're putting the patient in this position so that we can address the low back area here. By doing some gentle manipulation here, we are going to loosen up these joints, allow them to function more the way they're designed to function, which in turn will make the patient feel better. All treatments are designed and specific for that patient. Nobody has the exact same problem as somebody else. Everybody's problems are specific to them. Therefore, treatments need to be different for each patient because everybody's problems are different. Having done an evaluation on this young lady prior to the video starting, I know what her problems are and that's what we're going to address today. I'm going to give a little gentle push down on her leg, in on her back. And we just mobilize those joints down there, help to loosen things up, get her feeling better. That now, was, that was too easy. It was. <laughs> we're going to get you to lay face up for a moment. And the main problem is up in the neck, in particular the upper neck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and give a little gentle push in these areas and try to get those areas that are locked up to loosen up and work a little bit better. I'm going to turn your head this way a little bit and I'm going to give a little push right there. Let your head just drop. There you go. We're going to turn your head over this way and we'll give a little push. I want you to set your hands on your stomach. There you go. And we got some nice movement there. Generally speaking, adjustments or manipulation should not be particularly uncomfortable. Sometimes if somebody is very sore, even though this is the treatment of choice and what is going to get them the best results, it can produce a little discomfort. Usually that is very short lasting and not too bad. In this particular case, I think we're doing good. I'm going to come over here and we're going to do a little adjusting on the other side of this patient's low back. So we're going to turn you over this way now. And I'm going to bend that top leg all the way up. I'm going to get this shoulder and just kind of tuck you around a little bit. I'll swing the table in there. By doing that, it just puts them in a little bit better position to do this particular maneuver. I'm going to scoot you right up to the edge, and we give a little push down on your leg and in on your back. There you go. Thank you. You did good. Thank you. 
Now, we're going to sit you up, so we'll drop those legs over and just have you come on back up there. And I'm going to come and just recheck things and see if they are doing better. How are you doing as far as discomfort up here now? Is that less than it had been? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Scrooge. You're most welcome. And that's what's involved with a chiropractic adjustment or a manipulation. Oftentimes when people come to see a chiropractor for the first time, they're very concerned. They don't know what to expect. It seems sort of counterintuitive that if you have problem here, it's very painful and stiff, that somebody coming by and giving a push there is going to be helpful. But in reality, restoring normal function to these areas is generally the treatment of choice. And that's not to say that adjusting or manipulation is always the best way to go. Because everybody's problems are different, it really depends on the individual, their particular set of circumstances, and what the base cause of their problem is. But for the most part, adjusting and manipulation is very helpful and usually the treatment of choice for those types of disorders. And I just want everyone to know that no animals have been harmed in the filming of this video. <laughs> so if you are having pain and dysfunction in your neck, upper back, low back, or other joints, shoulders, knees, you should get yourself checked out. And if you've had any trauma, if you've been recently involved in an automobile accident or have hurt yourself in some other way, you should get yourself checked out. Because although things will heal no matter what, you want them to heal optimally. You don't want to be setting the stage for problems down the road. And frequently, especially with automobile accidents, people who've been injured five years later end up with problems that they wouldn't have had otherwise because they never received any treatment or care. The area that was injured healed, but it healed in a way that created extra friction, so things wear faster. And that really sets the stage for trouble down the road somewhere. So, if you've been injured, get yourself checked out if needs be, get yourself treated. It'll help you and it'll decrease the likelihood of you having problems in the future. Thank you very much.